this is 1407 Gray Malkin Lane, the living memory of the X-Men. Don't let anyone tell you different. Okay. X-Men Red, number 10, by Al Ewing with Stefano Casilli uh, and Jacopo Hamagili. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to sound these out on the <laughs> if they're on the art. Um, we get the finale of the Abigail Brand thing, and damn, just damn. Also, we get this whole little fight with Storm and Vulcan. Uh, but so we get so Cable manifold. Wiz Kid, Weaponless Zen, Korra. Am I forgetting anybody? Oh, Thunderbird. <laughs> Thunderbird made some. Re- <laughs> he was funny. He was kind of funny. It's like, I'll go to one with the two mouths. I got two heads. The math works. <laughs> oh, man. It, I love it. I love it. Like that. Al Ewing, he knows how to make a really an asshole yet funny character. Um, I'm loving Manifold every issue of this because, like, there's so much to do with his powers, and this kind of goes back to what happened with him and Latika. Makes me think about that sword issue where uh some like he was asked like aren't you like how do you feel about not knowing the the other omega he was like i don't it doesn't bother me it's not a competition and i love that and we're seeing that latika likes man not man i mean like she she looks like oh you're my little brother like i i got your back because she helps him she helps the mutants get away. Um, Abigail Brand is caught because she realized she kind of the way that she figured out around the telepathic stuff was really fun. It was it's fun, and she she instantly knew it was Metallo. I'm like, okay, she is not she is not one to be trifled with. So. You know, she gets away, and then she runs into the Fisherman King. Okay, but here, down on that. Storm and Vulcan. I swear, at first, it seemed like it was going to be like a Dragon Ball Z episode with Goku versus Frieza. And it's just 14 episodes of them just talking about what they're going to do to each other. (laughs) I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to kick your ass. No, um, it's. I mean, the ending was really cool. You got to see, like, I like when Storm. This show that Storm is a team player. She is a leader, and she thinks like a leader. She brought in her new team. She brought in Wrong Slide, Subnar, and Lotus. I love Lotus logo. Love that guy. Um. They imprison Vulcan and like this. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. But oh, the ending. We're gonna see four sinisters. I hope like so. We have the spade, the diamonds, and the uh, club, or is it? I don't know. I I don't. It's late. I, I still think we're going to see a Miss Sinister. I still think we're going to get a Lady Sinister. That's Miss Sinister was dope. I don't Okay. I'm giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's great. Can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Because we got Sins of Sinister coming up and it's about to go down. Because we have no idea what's really going to happen. The entire world is sinister. How does that work? It feels like they're trying to do like an Age of Apocalypse type of thing. But 
Yeah, it's probably going to be kind of like a mo- like an homage to Age of Apocalypse, and Sinister is like the one person who could get it, who wants to make it. It's not a redemption arc. It just shows like he's seen how like he's going to try to want the ending's going to be he's going to want to contain himself because he's seen how bad it is. Or we're going to get some new heroes out of this. Do we need new heroes? Just bring up the old ones. But this is 1407 Grand Mocking Lane. I'm signing out.